Right, welcome back. Last time we went ahead and uh, finished the war with Kutzatlan. Grabbed the three prov- well, the two provinces I needed to for my uplosses. I want to make it all connected together. Yay. Yeah, so I just need to get them cored, both of them, which will take a while, although I am hopeful it happens this session. On the 7th of September 1476, it's a bit of a long ways away, so maybe not this time. I was, I'm also not coring these provinces until I get to the point where making them a full core will reserve their autonomy, but check them out already at this point, so I might as well. What about Karakor? Definitely not. Okay, just leave it. Yeah, I'm also at the point where it might be a good idea to integrate Itza. But for now, I'm not going to touch that, because the decision for forming Maya grants cores and then claim, and then permanent claims. So it might give me cores here. Either way, it's best to wait until then. So I might get claims in this area, these areas. So. Oh, they sent Maya as a syncretic faith. That. And yeah. Uh, I don't really need to look at all investor stuff. Not right now, anyway. Oh, yeah, another thing that I've also done last time is finish trade ideas. So now I've got at least that part of the requirements down for expanding trade rights. The only thing I need is to explain the influence of the burgers. For which that I have to wait a little. Sadly. Because the last thing I did was raise the those of the nobility in order to get them to be fine with lowering one of their privileges, specifically the number of titles. Now how long will that take? I don't know. It's lagging a bit, so there it is. Twentieth of November fourteen seventy one. Okay. So until then, I can't really do much of anything. Plus, I need to get the Metropolitans up to 30. At the very least, the influence change does give the impression that it should be a good bit higher at the start of the... Wait. It is barely at the start of the... Dang it. Okay. Might be enough. I certainly hope so. Excellent. The tribal levies are entirely gone. I'm now no longer reliant in any way, shape, or form on the tribes. That means two things. I can basically just... Well... I don't really care that much about their loyalty anymore. All it affects is how much unrest they produce themselves. And another thing, in fact, can the clans even produce unrest? Not sure. But yeah. And it no longer affects um, my manpower in any way, shape, or form. Of course, there's a corollary that I have to make sure that the nobles are happy. Which itself is annoying. But it's something I'm going to have to deal with. Like, in that manner. Now, what's important is that I need to make some sort of reform. Question is, can I bring the faction influence of the... Metropolitans to be high enough for my needs. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to promote their faction. Might not be enough. Uh, what would really be nice is if I were in a position to have both of them have 30 at the same time. That way I can do tax farming reform and trade law reform at the same time. And possibly also <laughs> urban charter reform. Doing all three of those at the same time would definitely be interesting. It might be a cause for concern. <laughs> Just 
still, bridge is still aren't high enough in influence. Hmm. Anyway, there's something else that I probably should have done when we started to do that earlier. Um, some of my cities don't have enough. Okay, I don't know why population is the best rate so far down for the residents here, but something is enough here for the um, housing. Hmm. Brother can pay. I remember them not having enough. Yeah. Right. I'll just look around finding provinces that could use a higher level of urban infrastructure and get them to do that. There are no urban residents here. Yeah, I could just not have enough urban residents to fulfill level 3. No residents here. Uh, okay, it's not too high. What about here? There's no residents here. Okay, so just those two provinces? Okay. I think it's time I've built up infrastructure again. Both need to go up to energies to rank three with two extra units. Okay. How's employment? Because that affects whether or not I. Okay, so urban's. Yeah, that's about one unit. Here and over here. Okay. Let's put it at two parallelism. That should be fine. Selection. Another thing I should do is, yeah, I probably should also save up money for the capital building. Because I'm going to need to get that to level 3 if I want to spawn meritocracy. Of course, that is definitely a long term goal. Nowhere near short term. I'm not capable of doing that in the short term. Did I just rank up? Well, the game's lagging, so it should come up in the... A... 400 dev, major. Yes, yes I have. Okay. What are the effects? Advisor costs plus 30%, possible advisors plus 1, leaders without a key plus 1, diplomatic relations plus 2, personal liberty desire plus expertise. Plus six percent, liberty desire from subjects development minus ten percent, and national focus cooldown minus nine. So I could change that if I wanted, but for the time being, I think it would be best to continue focusing on diplo because that's the thing I am falling furthest behind on. Yeah, and I need the diplo points most for important reforms. So I can get Burgers don't have enough still. They need more power, they need more influence. They need more of both. Really, that's the important part. Right, it's about time for me to stop, although I can probably go on for a little bit longer. I'll definitely um, let the coin finish, although I do want to take a quick look to see if there's anything interesting I can do. I don't need to promote support combos. Uh, is there anything for the clergy that I'm willing to do? Opposing populist reform is a terrible idea. I don't need to say that. <laughs> I just know it. Yeah, I'm still unable to get the metropolitans to have enough influence. I mean, I can get the bureaucrats to get enough influence for a tax reform, but... Really, for the time being, I don't need to do that. What I need is for the burgers. I need trade law reform because I want to get meritocracy because it's so important. It really is. Among other things, 1500 is approaching and not only that, tech level 19 was reached in 1470. In about 14 years, I'd say. 
it'll be time for Tech Level 21, at which casual literacy will appear at any point. At which I will start getting a tech penalty, and a bad one at that too. Uh, I'm gonna need to get at least two levels of trade law. That's probably a third. Anyway, let's finish coring Kakashiku. And now select that decision. Yep. Here we are. Time to form Maya. We'll get me 10 more centralization too, which will help in some things. Although my centralization gain is going to reduce by 0 0.05. Although, in hindsight, it's actually not that much. So, let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, a nice reddish color. Okay, let's state you. Yeah, just cores anything that I have. That's not even a full core either. How's that? Ah, I can start conversion. Okay. Oh, that's affecting stability. Hmm. Alright, let's just go ahead and start integrating you. This will definitely take time, though. Estimated to be done in... Well, okay, a little over two years. It's actually not that bad, but it still costs 200 points, which is uh, comparable to a third of attacks. So. Oh, well, not even a third. It's a bit less than half, actually. <laughs> wow, okay. It's a lot higher than I expected. So, I haven't been able to do too much. I have, however, restricted the level of court titles to no effect. It's a prestigious court. Court titles are, only granted, are granted only when appropriate, constrained to a small set of highly sought-after powers and responsibilities, which keeps the influence of the aristocrats down. This is highly important because they have an absurd amount of power, and reducing that should be my top interest. Especially since, well, in order to get to the next level, which reduces noble gravity, which is extremely important, as well as autonomy from them, and reduces the amount of wealth they gain from the peasantry. All that requires having the nobles, own, well, making sure the nobles have at most 35 aristocratic influence. I do have to admit, I am actually pretty close. Oh yeah, the nobles have to have less than 85 average power. Might be a reason to keep the tribes up. <laughs> At least a little bit. No, I would prefer if there were something... Well, they're gonna slowly die out in certain areas. Especially since I did not take any decisions that solidified their removal from power, at least too much. Anyway. That should be good for now. I'll see you again next time. Hopefully we manage to actually get the burgers to get enough influence to pass their trade laws. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye.